Hello guys and welcome. This is the first episode of our brand new series um, in which we'll create Workit, a Laravel SaaS app using, well, Laravel, <laughs> Tailwind and Vue, uh, my favorite tech stack. So what is the purpose of our, um, of our tool of our brand new app? Um, it is supposed to be an all-in-one workspace for you and your team to collaborate on projects. So we'll feature um, modules like chat, uh, real-time voice calls, um, meetings, um, maybe something like a Google Drive or, or maybe a prototype of it, uh, project and time management and many more to come. So um, let's get started. This is the first episode, so we'll start with creating a proper environment. Um, today we'll cover things like uh, installing Laravel UI and uh, getting the project uh, ready to our first coding. So um, let's get started with uh, installing um, Laravel UI because I have a brand new uh, fresh Laravel project installation. So um, to quickly install it, uh, we just have to paste the um, the composer comment from the documentation and then start our uh, scaffolding with um, view and auf. Give it a minute to install. Okay, so after a minute or two it got installed. Uh, don't need to paste the uh, another comment to create the proper scaffolding. Uh, what it will do, it will generate um, new views for the ALF and uh, update um, package JSON with proper uh, packages that's view and uh, and bootstrap. So now we need to install npm. So when NVM is installing, um, we'll cover another thing, uh, that's um, the auth roots. Uh, what I like to do with my projects is to move to root service provider and remove the namespace. Um, because like at the moment, Laravel is um, looking at the uh, web PHP file and uh, appending the controller name uh, to this namespace. Um, I'm a fan of making things strict, so uh, we'll just replace uh, this uh, string declaration with class declaration and clean up the code. Uh, we'll also have to replace the auth roots because um, for some reason Laravel is not supporting uh, using the root service provider in, uh, in auth roots. So uh, we'll handle this uh, maybe a little bit later uh, because our NPM got installed. So uh, now let me just run uh, the watch poll command that will watch any changes in the resources directory and uh, watch the files and compile them. Okay, so if we refresh the page, uh, we can see the two new buttons, login to register. Um, they will produce an error if we click them because uh, we didn't uh, specify the uh, namespace for the auth roots. Um, but yeah, let's move on uh, for now. Um, what I like to do is to keep my models uh, not directly into the app directory. Uh, I like to create a new uh, models directory and we'll simply uh, move the users uh, user model to the new created directory, then update the namespace and simply in every place the user was referenced, uh, change it to app models user. Okay, this should do the trick. Um, we can also run our migration the basic one creating the users. Oh yeah, I forgot to specify the um, database um, in the end file. 
uh, maybe start with uh, changing the app name. Um, then my DB host will be MySQL. Uh, username root, password root, uh, root and database uh, work it. Yes, this should do the trick for me. Uh, please feel free to uh, fill this with your own data. Yeah, I made mistake. It shouldn't be my SQL. It should be Maria DB for me, as this is what I'm uh, running in my um, Docker setup. So I uh, check if it works. It should be working. If not, we should. Okay, it worked. Um, okay, uh, yeah. The next thing we need to cover is uh, installing Pywind because it's my frontend framework of choice. Um, we'll simply follow the documentation to install the newest version. So let's disable the uh, watch pool for a little bit and uh, install Tailwind. I will be also installing the Tailwind UI extension in a little bit uh, because it gives us a little bit more uh, utility classes to work with. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we'll just move on to uh, copying Tailwind our app as CSS and uh, prepending them with the uh, dash. Okay, so uh, if we look into our package JSON we'll see that we have some stuff that we might not need. Um, that for me will be Bootstrap, jQuery and Popa. So let's get rid of them and update our uh, Bootstrap accordingly. I guess we won't need also Lodash for, uh, for now, so we'll also remove it. Uh, Axis is okay to stay. Uh, We'll create our own eco um, configuration when we'll be dealing with real time stuff. Uh, so let's get rid of Lodash. Okay, so we have our app uh, that's requiring Bootstrap, creating a new example component. Uh, yeah, it seems okay for now. Um, okay, so uh, go to our webpack and <clears throat> we'll create um, a configuration for Tailwind to be compiled down. Uh, what I'd like to use is uh, Laravel Mix Tailwind from Jeffrey. So let's just install it. Then the configuration is very very simple we just have to require the package and uh, add the tailwind to our config normally i would be installing uh, perch css but tailwind uh, does this for us since the last version so um i have a code for uh, browser sync that will allow us uh, that will auto reload our views if we change them and I believe we forgot to, yeah, to init the Tailwind uh, config file. So now let's install the Tailwind UI uh, extension for extra utility classes. Oh, we forgot to install. And it's actually really simple to uh, plug it in. We just have to require it uh, in the plugins. Okay. Uh, so after it's done installing, I believe we have our basic setup, but we'll need to check as I'm doing um, a few things on the fly. Uh, okay, so um, let's go and uh, fire off the watch poll command 
and we'll go to our welcome blade view to check if everything was installed. Uh, we'll maybe clean up this mess a little bit. And reference our um, and reference our style sheet. Okay, um, we're in, uh, running the watch pool in the background, so um, it installed the browser sync, and we have to run mix again. Yeah, and we actually we, we got an error. Um, let's see what it's about. Oh yeah, uh, we forgot to specify the proper Tailwind config path. Um, because for some reason it's using just Tailwind.js without the uh, that config. Um, so now it should work and compile. So back to our welcome view. Uh, let's create something really simple so we can just check if it's working. So uh, give a diff uh, body of um, Perl 800, some padding, uh, text white, and just say hello. So if this will work, uh, I guess this will be everything for today. We got the tail Laravel UI installed, we got the root service provider, we got the web PHP, model path and Tailwind. So let's wait for it to compile. Okay, it seemed to be compiled. Uh, the browser sync is opening for us the new window. Call to undefined function assets. Yeah. That's true, it should be assets. Okay, and it seems to be working great. Uh, we have the browser sync ready. So um, if we make any changes, for example, make the text uppercase and save, then it's uh, updating our page accordingly. Yeah, guys, so in next episode, we'll handle the auth um, and maybe create uh, some basic view for our app. See you then. Thank you for watching.